Today we're going to learn how to do auto rotation. Auto rotation just means that when you're flying in a helicopter and your engine dies all of a sudden for some reason and what you do is you immediately lower the collective to keep the rotor spinning. You know, if you don't do that, the rotor will stop spinning and then you'll crash like a rock. This is what happens when your reaction time is too slow. As soon as the engine dies, you need to lower the collective immediately. Engine stopped and I didn't lower the collective right away. I hesitated a bit. Now I have lowered the collective but the helicopter has become uncontrollable. At this point, there is nothing much I can do. Too late to recover. So I'm going to simulate uh, how to do auto rotation in the OH-6. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So how I'm going to uh, simulate the engine out uh, situation is I'm going to close the fuel valve so that the engine will turn itself off. And then I'll try to lower the collective immediately and then uh, try to maintain the airspeed of uh, somewhere in between 60 to 70 knots. The speed that you need to maintain for, I mean, for auto rotation is different for each helicopter. So you need to look up the manual. For example, like the Apache, you need to maintain the airspeed of around 100 knots, if I remember correctly. I'm going to now close the fuel valve. So watch closely here. 3, 2, 1. Now I immediately lower the collective to keep the rotor spinning. And now I'm going too fast. Well, okay, I'm going too fast. I'm going to pull back a little bit and quickly scan around to see where I can land my helicopter. Okay, I'm going way too fast now. Pull back a little bit more and try to maintain that uh, glide speed of uh, around 60 to 70 knots. It doesn't matter, I mean, just somewhere there. Somewhere in between 60 and 80 knots, I guess. Okay, and now I'm around 90 knots. It's slowing down to 85 knots. 80 knots okay good looks good now you see, if you see my helicopter has stabilized gliding uh, quite nicely and trying to see where i'm going to land the this helicopter probably somewhere to the right over there i think i have enough altitude to fly over there okay i'm going too fast now again need to pull back okay 80 knots 75 knots okay that's not bad okay, i'm going down 700 knots i mean 700 feet okay 60 knots at around 100 feet above the ground i'm going to flare a little bit and try to slow down a little bit more okay okay i'm going down whoa i came down too fast okay, let me try one more time this is my second try Okay, I'm approaching and I'm going to close the fuel valve. Now the engine has stopped. It becomes a little bit unstable at first. Just make small corrections. Uh, you don't need to panic. You know. If you make small corrections and try to maintain that glide speed, the helicopter will become stabilized like this. It looks good. I'm trying to maintain that glide speed between, I mean, somewhere between 60 to 70 knots. Just try not to uh, flare too early. Then the helicopter becomes too slow and then it, it falls faster. So you need to wait until the altitude becomes 100 feet. Okay, now flare. Okay, now I think this is a lot smoother than the first try, right? So, if you keep practicing, you will get better. I guarantee.